Hey y'all, it's Hope and welcome back to my channel. I am going to camp in a few days and as you may be able to tell, I'm doing a pack with me for camp. I've actually done these videos the past two years, so obviously I had to make one for this year as well. This is going to be kind of packing with me as well as me telling y'all some tips for packing for camp and what you should pack. Anyways, let's just get into it. Okay, so the very first thing I did was start with my toiletries. I have these little containers from Target that I put all my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, just all that stuff into. And I think that'll be really nice so that way I don't have to bring my actual containers, but I can still use my normal products. And in addition to that, I just put everything else into one of three bags. I have it in three bags just to keep it more organized. This is like my main bag. I got this on Amazon and I used it last year and it was super nice because it can fit so many things. This is a bag that I've recently gotten and it has my initials on it. Oh, so I'm covering this one up. I'm gonna start with this one. So this is kind of like skincare stuff. So in it, I have face wash, body spray, treatment, morning moisturizer. I also have night moisturizer that I still need to put in here. I'm waiting on that one because I only have one container, so I'm still using it. So I'm gonna put that in here, like right before I go to camp. And then finally, face sunscreen. In this bag, like I said, I have a lot more things. So on this side, I have a razor and I got a new like razor head thing. It's just that way I have like a fresh one for camp and I have my little razor case on it. And then I have toothbrush and toothpaste. I got new things of toothbrush and toothpaste just so that way I'd have like, again, fresh ones for camp. Cause I am going for two weeks. I didn't say that earlier, but the camp I go to is a two week church sports camp. So I ha I'm bringing enough stuff to last me two weeks for everything. And then in this pocket, I have my brush and some big hair ties along with some little hair ties so I can do like braids and stuff in my hair. And then in the big compartment, I have a loofah along with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, and 10-in-1. Also, y'all saw in there, I'm keeping my letters. I was just going to put them in my bag like this, but the bag doesn't close all the way and I don't want to get a bigger bag. So I'm just keeping it in here so everything doesn't spill everywhere. But I have pencils along with tons of letters and stamps. I'm not going to use all the letters and stamps, but I want to have extra just in case. Or again, if someone in my cabin needs to borrow some. When you're going to camp, definitely make sure to bring letters and stuff so you can write to family members and friends. And I need to tell my friends that my camp address so they can write to me because I can't really write to anyone if they don't write to me first because I need return addresses. And then finally in this bag, I just have like pads and tampons just in case I need them. The next thing I did was get my bedding situated. So in here I have sheets. If you're at camp for like a week or more, bring sheets and not a sleeping bag. If you're there for like three days or something, I'd say just go sleeping bag because that's easier. But if you're there for a while, I think sheets are nicer and comfier to have for an extended period of time. So I have two sets of fitted sheets and the normal sheets. I've actually just in case they like get dirty or something. I also have two pillowcases, again, in case one gets dirty. And I haven't put my pillow in here yet because I'm still using it. But the day I leave for camp, again, I'll put that in here. I also have this blob pillow. I bring this every year. It's kind of like a camp thing. Like you can get them at camp, but I just bring mine. And then I also, currently I only have one blanket in here. I'm going to add another blanket. It's a blanket that I use like all the time. So I haven't put it in here yet. And then I'm going to buy another blanket at camp. Our camp is like a yearly blanket. And so I'm gonna get the 2022 one. So then I'll have a total of three blankets. I definitely recommend bringing more blankets than you think you need. You'd rather not use one of them than be cold. Also, I'm bringing all this in this bag. So I don't can't be able to bring a hard trunk as well as like a soft bag. And so this thing is really nice because I bring all my bedding and sheets and stuff in it on the way to camp. And then once I'm there, it doubles as a laundry bag for me to put my laundry in. So it kind of has two uses. Then my mom took all my clothes and she ironed on like my name into everything. So if anything gets lost, I'll be able to get it back. And just that way it's like easier to know what's mine and stuff because we do laundry halfway through camp. Because like I said, it's two weeks. And if we didn't do laundry, I would have to bring a lot of clothes. So 
my mom ironed my name into everything and then for like underwear and socks she wasn't really able to um iron my name into that so i just took a sharpie and i wrote my name into everything and then i put it all into these bags definitely recommend getting these bags i've talked about them before they're e-bags and they just make it a lot easier to fit big things into a smaller space or a lot of things into a smaller space so i have like 10 pairs of underwear two sports bras i'm also going to wear a pair another sports bra there and then i have like 15 or something pairs of socks i brought a lot of socks because i'm always gonna be wanting to change out of those like anytime my socks get wet or i just take them off i want to change like i said i'm going for we do laundry halfway through so this everything i'm bringing is enough to last me like a little over a week and definitely bring way more than you think you need because you are going to get stuff dirty or wet or sweaty and you'll wanna change out of it, so have extra. In here, I have two pairs of pajamas and three swimsuits. And then in here, currently I have like 10 outfits. I'm gonna be packing two more, but I still need to put a few things through the laundry before I pack it. So this is currently everything I have, but like I said, I'm gonna put in like two more outfits. Shoes, I have a pair of tennis shoes that I'm wearing. These are my old running shoes. I'm also gonna be wearing my current running shoes there. So I'll have two total pairs of tennis shoes. Bring at least two pairs of tennis shoes because one pair will get like wet or something. And when you have wet shoes, you're not gonna want to like wear those. You're gonna want to let them dry and you can wear the other pair while your wet pair is drying. I also have my chacos because I'm gonna want water shoes for lake activities. And then shower shoes. If you take anything away from this video, bring shower shoes. There are a lot of people using the showers. Even if just your cabin has showers, everybody in your cabin is using those showers. So bring water shoes because otherwise you'll just feel gross. Kind of along with toiletries that I forgot to say these earlier, I have sunscreen and bug spray. I don't really use bug spray much and with sunscreen, everyone just shares, but I'm bringing my own for myself and then also people in my cabin can use it. I have a poncho in case it rains. And then I go, I do go to a church camp, so I have my Bible. And then at my camp, we have parties, and they're all themed, so I'm brought, so we bring costumes for them. And I have enough stuff to, like, share with other people in my cabin, or so I have some things I'm probably gonna, like, let my sister borrow once we get there, because she's going to the same camp as me this year. Another year, she's gone to, like, a different camp, because she's not been the age for my camp. But this year, we'll, we'll be at the same camp. So the parties are, there's the Western party, so I have this cowboy hat and these handkerchiefs bandanas i'm going to share some of these with people in my cabin um i think reese already took a few because it's like missing some colors but have these to share for the western party there's a 90s neon party so i'm going to be wearing a neon yellow tank top some bright pink shorts and then i bring some scrunchies for myself and again to share with people in my cabin then there's a taurus travel the world sort of party so i have these sunglasses and then these lays and these lays like i said i'm gonna be sharing these with my cabin but these lays will also work for the under the sea party and i'm also gonna be wearing a blue shirt for that i have my meds along with like the sheet my mom had to fill out because these are just gonna go to the camp nurses and then they'll give them to me every morning i all I've been bringing are my allergy medicines, so that my allergy pills and my nose spray, and then my inhaler, although that one is just like if I need it, when I probably won't, but I just have it like just in case something happens. I have two bath towels for after the shower and then a beach towel to dry off like after being in the lake or something. And I'm gonna be carrying this beach towel around in my backpack. This is my first year going to camp with like a little bag. I saw some people doing this last year and I thought it was a really smart idea. So I'll be keeping like a towel, my water bottle. So I'm bringing my water bottle to camp, some cameras, cause I actually just got cameras. I'm really excited to be using these. These are disposable cameras, which I haven't used before. So hopefully I don't mess up and the film ends up looking good. I have these and I'll be keeping those in here. And then I'll also probably keep some bracelet stuff. I'm not gonna keep this whole pack but I'm just bringing this pack on the bus. I'm also riding the bus to camp and it's six hours. So I'll be bringing some other things in the bus to keep me busy. But I'll just keep like a few things from here in my bag. I probably just a few things of string or something. I'm not gonna keep this all in my bag because that would start to get pretty full. Yeah, I'll have this bag, which will be really handy. And then finally, I have my Crazy Creek. This thing is so nice and so many people from camp have one. People buy them on the first day because they have them in the shop or people like just bring them from the past or they like get one before camp or something. But basically 
You can just carry it around like this, super easy to bring with you. And then you open it up and it's just like a chair. So it's really nice when you don't really have a seat, you just have something to sit on, like you have to sit in the grass or you're sitting on a bench or something. Just bring these and everything's really nice. So now I'm gonna put everything in my trunk. Some things I'm gonna have to unpack. Like I said, adding clothes. And then also with my toiletries bag, I'll need to add stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and do some all my packing right now and then I'll just take stuff out and put it back in. And then anything that doesn't fit in my trunk, I'm just gonna throw into this bag. Although I'm gonna try and fit as many things into the trunk as possible first. Okay, so that all fit really well actually. The only things left are my backpack, camera, water bottle, and bead stuff. So I'm gonna bring this backpack with me and all those other things on the bus. So this is perfect. Um, I'm gonna have to take stuff out obviously to add stuff, add the clothes and then like deodorant and stuff. But for the most part, this all fits really well and I think I have that figured out pretty well. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are going to camp and what type of camp you're going to and then also like how much you have to pack. After this video goes out, I actually won't be posting for two weeks because I'm going to be at camp and I can't really post while I'm there. So this is my last video for two weeks. So go and check out my old videos and I will see y'all when I get back from camp. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like it, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.